necklace. Oh, they got a, a, a dra dragon kite. That's cool. Oh, cool. Damn, somebody proposed. <laughs> somebody Wait, proposed what? what? The level proposed to you. <laughs> Twice. Uh, uh, hold on. I've got an engagement just... necklace. Oh, is that what that is? That's um, what it is I now. It's the, if I remember it seeing. Because, like, I just watched the series. Oh, is, it the, is it the Water Tribe one? It was a Water Tribe necklace with the Water Tribe thing on, and it's Katara's necklace. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I recognize uh, the actually, necklace, but I'm saying I didn't know it was, it was actually, a proposal thing. It's, it's, yeah, it's, oh, perfect. it's the engagement necklace from the other Water Tribe. Huh. Hello, Iro. Spirit Iro. I, there's, a, there's a number of items here that I unlocked from doing other things, and they're all here, and it's great. Yes. Yay! Let's see. Did you buy tea? I see teapot has been bought. What's tea inside the teapot? Ja Jasmine tea is clearly uh, a priority for the Avatar. Clearly. It's a priority I for Iro. Iro's be. priority comes first. Screw everything else, we need to take care of Iroh. Dude, just hang out with, with Iroh and smoke his hookah. No, wait, that's there not a hookah, a... That's, a, that's a teapot. No, he doesn't mind. have one. He has a teapot. He doesn't need it. He tea. just has tea. 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 Special tea. Iroh can stop himself being mugged simply with a kettle and some good advice. <laughs> he did. It's true. Yeah, that's exactly well. I don't remember. That's him exactly what together. happened. So even though even though this is a new game, this is uh, kind of also new game plus. <coughs> uh, the Shadow Fist Talisman is unlocked with a secret code. Counter dodge is done by completing pro bending on the Ace difficulty, and charge boost is I think uh, beating the game once already. I don't know. And it looks cool too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Shadow Fist also looks, looks cool. cool. <laughs> yeah, I was reading the description for that. Let's go and get nice. Oh, and, you can, and you can change costumes too. Yep. I wonder if I, oh. wonder, I wonder if I still have the costumes unlocked. That might be interesting to see. Uh, let's see. Oh, I've got all the costumes unlocked still. Nice. There's the book one uh, core costume, G blocker, spirit Clara. Uh, South Pole winter costume, and then uh, Avatar Korra. Avatar State Korra, sort of. Um, not gonna go with any healing because I don't really need them. <coughs> Her eyes become really sinister when she's Avatar costume. Yeah. I, th I think that's probably the well, point. Well, it's because she's, she's already dangerous enough when she's, you know, not in that state. It's so. a perfect Rampage costume. We're going on a Rampage. <laughs> <coughs> also, is it really bad that the the entire time that uh, Spud was doing the whole, uh, uh, you know, uh, running through the city with Naga, that escape through the city kept playing through my head? Running around at the speed of sound, got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. <laughs> this is all of it terrible. <laughs> that was all right. No, no, it, it was all right. I was, I was trying to join in, but I was too busy laughing. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to Sky Sanctuary. Okay, Cora, I need you to not break these pots. <laughs> Why is the little girl a spirit? Um, some sort of spirit communication thing. I don't know. Okay, yeah, I can't break the pots, but these guys I can break. <laughs> Collect jars of spirit water. Yes, I can leave this place. Now. Shit, she broke apart. <laughs> you broke the one apart. thing. She broke like seven. The one thing already. I asked you not to do is break apart. No, what well, you okay. So the cutscene basically was, um, we've got some spirit water and some jars around here. If you use that, you might help get Where your bending back. And also, she's, the... <laughs> and she's like, well, wait, which which pots? Ah, uh, crap. Uh, uh, also, if you if you notice, those two guys were dead. <laughs> Just Launched them off a cliff. Well, we're on an island. 
Not really a like, cliff so much. Uh, no well, one yeah, was. but there's also jagged rocks uh, near the. They went straight to the jagged rocks. There was. You can't assume. No survivors. I always oh, assume the word. Oh, hey, spirit jar. Yep. Glowies. Collect Yay. glowy things. Okay, this is this is this is a good strategy. Collect glowing things. Stop that! I want you to do the other thing. Ow! <laughs> There's a man up there. <coughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> my planet, my people need me, so I'm returning to my planet. <laughs> Bye. My people need me. G blockers yeah. are blasting off again. Goodbye. I must go now. My people need me. <laughs> I must go now. Gravity needs me. This should be horrifying, but it's funny. <laughs> Well, you know, it's like what they say. Gravity I may be the only thing this. keeping you alive. Maybe one of the few things keeping you alive right now. But he's also a jackass about it and loves to remind you that he could kill you whenever he wants. Yeah, this Gravity, is thou art a heartless bitch. <laughs> or, or, or you could do the other thing that's going through my head right now and just hear the goofy laugh every time they fly away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Basically. Yeah, exactly. Like that. <laughs> basically. Yeah. I mean, it's you know, it's sort of like that. It's sort of the slightly more grown-up version of a Saturday morning cartoon. That's kind of how I see it. More cabbages. <laughs> Cab cabbages. My cabbages. My cabbages. 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 Oh. Now, now, Cora, Cora may, may be the Avatar, but she does she know the shush? That's the important thing. And apparently, I'm too fucking old. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. Kind of. uh, well, no, because every time, I, every time I think of the Goofy laugh, I always think of that that cartoon where Goofy skiing. It's a very specific cartoon. Yeah, it's uh, well, it, it's basically Goofy teaches you how to ski, you know, or as you know, as much as he can. <laughs> except he's Goofy. Yeah, except he's Goofy is the problem. It's one of the like weird the one where he tries of to teach you how to lift videos. weights. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> he gets himself like stuck in the 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 stretch band. He's trying to get cool? himself out of it. That, to be fair, I I'm not that much better at it. <laughs> I didn't say I was better at him than lifting weights. I'm just saying it's really hilarious to watch him try. Yeah, me me, me going to the gym is is a comedy act just waiting to happen. <laughs> me going I, I, to the gym is wait, why am I going to the look, gym? Who replaced? Yay. Me? Ooh, you found the the water MacGuffin part four. Yeah, pretty much. And now we can water. Hi. I can break things with water now. Pretty much. But no, water I, I'm. Punch. Sur water punching. Surprisingly hard to make this. Yeah. This is pretty much the ranged style. Hi, oranges! <laughs> I must open this chest with water. You'd think fire would make a fairly effective range style, too. Uh, fire is absolutely up close and single target personal. Uh, Earth is very slow and hard hitting. Basically, no one can guard it. And air is. I'm gonna hit everyone! <laughs> A AoE overpowered, yes. <laughs> A A AoE is fuck your couch. <laughs> Basically. Wait, what? I'm gonna crush you. I don't think that's quite what that means. Nah. Yeah. Oh, holy that's shit. That's an Earth <laughs> You can tell because of the Earth he's been. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> well, you know, Oblivious isn't too many letters away from Obvious. Yep. <laughs> First time that joke has ever been made. <laughs> obvious and Oblivious seem to be complete opposite terms, though. They are. It, it just gets even worse. <laughs> he was oblivious to how obvious he was being. 
No, he knew exactly how obvious he was being. <laughs> Actually, like one of the I things sure in, the session, in the session I was coming, uh, I was there was this thing that came up where, um, you know, uh, after we killed the dragon, uh, one of the characters uh, was uh, being asked uh, how big was it. He was like, well, about, and he decided to quote Helsing a British here. So he's like, well, about half as thick as my dick. So. Oh boy. <laughs> Pretty big, and uh, then I was just playing this character who's like very straight, like very uh, serious, like straight shooter kind of character, and the character just says, "What the boss means to say is that it was very large." You just need to go with the standard bigger than a bread box thing. Okay, so an inch wide. Smaller than that. Oh, very good. Look at all that water punching people. Water punch. Smug bomb. So, <laughs> or is getting drunk. the sort of power-up mechanic for this game is the chi meter. Uh, basically, when you charge up your your attacks with <coughs> chi, um, they just deal more damage, period. Holy and shit, did, did Korra find something that's indestructible? Nope. Oh, wait, no. Never mind, it's, it's just not as easily destructible. Okay. Yeah, it's still destructible. Bam! Hadouken. Hadouken. Okay, now we have a fire guy. This is getting interesting. I'm not gonna make the same joke twice. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who will be hate next. Hate. Ah, damn it, Smarty. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if we're going to Take be fighting a waterbender. Or, well, actually, I doubt we'd fight an airbender. Right away. Yeah, really aren't too many. <laughs> this battle's getting steamy. Okay then. Pretty, pretty sure the only other airbenders besides Korra are Aang's. Blood was uh, boiling. Yeah, Aang's and, and his family. Yeah. I, I can't make puns either. And then is awesome. Fred says he looks a bit like the king from Fallout New Vegas. Who does? That, uh, oh God, I'm guessing that that does. fire triad? I'm kind of think of that. Uh, oh, holy shit, you're right. <laughs> it took me a minute. <laughs> the king. I love the king in Fallout New Vegas. He's oh, great. yeah. He was a great guy. He was, he was one, one of my no favorite idea what's being talked about. Uh, basically, Elvis impersonator of the post-apocalyptic future. They take yep. shelter in a Elvis impersonation school. Okay, then. so that firebender was an Elvis impersonator. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I have my. No, no, no. It's that. even it's even better than that because they don't really know the history. Um, they find this school of Elvis impersonation. Their assumption is that if so many people were trained to be like this guy, it must have been like a religion or something. Oh, <laughs> to worship the king. Yeah, yeah. When it, when they it worship really just... the king. When it was really just the clown college of that particular, uh... It was basically just the clown college of Elvis. Yeah. That... <laughs> well, it was in Vegas. Yeah, it was in Vegas, that's why. <laughs> I mean, it's it's, yes. it's not the it's not the weirdest thing I've, I've heard of, granted. Oh, and more cheap, cheap blockers are blasting off again. <laughs> Team Rocket's blasting off again! With water this time. Team Rocket's splashing, splashing off again. <laughs> Goodbye! <coughs> now to break more things. Hell Very yeah! Stylish manner. You Another got box has engaged you. Another box has gotten engaged with you. Fuck this post in particular. <laughs> All of these boxes getting engaged Goodbye, with Lantern. you. Goodbye, Lantern! Fuck you, and fuck you, and fuck you, and fuck you in particular! She's, she's uh... Taking out a bunch of anger issues on Tenzin's property. <laughs> Certainly has the kid, low. The kid just raged for a while. <laughs> <laughs> the kid just raged for a while. That will never not be my favorite Bastion Corp. <laughs> kid just rages for a while. <laughs> Actually, I think my I think my favorite Bastion qu quote is the first time you fall off. It's just like, and then the kid died. <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> and then the kid died. The end. This guy has a bling necklace. And a sweet hat. Oh wow, that guy has a really nice hat. Holy shit. I like his hat. Oh, this is... 
going to be less than pleasant. This, this guy is... I did not expect this person in this universe. But I did not expect most of Korra in this universe. I did not expect Korra to be in the universe where Korra is situated. Not... <laughs> that's, that's... I was not expecting I meant the Korra series in general, but okay. These guys are this like is a Korra Korra is also slightly confusing. Team. Pretty much. Yeah, I was... I was gonna say that. Kick the boot, Skora! Everything gets the kick! So the thing about the triad, you know, benders is that it's basically implied that they're... They've got most of the abilities that you do. They can they can counter as well, and that's what the little quick time things are, basically. Ow. These guys seem like a tough fight. Oh yeah, They're, especially early on. There is a bit of a trick though in that, uh, you know, only one enemy attacks at a time and only the ones on camera, so if you can isolate one, then the others don't really attack. Like so. Uh, but yeah, this is not working out super well for me. And then your minions come in. Uh oh, does that answer your question? <laughs> I can do this. You might be about to go down. No! No, Cora. No, you knocked out the avatar. The avatar is extra angry now. Uh, the checkpoints also aren't super friendly in this game either. Oh. Which isn't a problem as you as you start to master it, but early on it can be kind of a mess. Especially if you're taking the uh, if you're using items that uh, lower your you know power or health, but you know increase you know say experience or money, like you know one of the ones I'm wearing right now. You don't need health. Like eh, I'll just be re reincarnated just like the last time. <laughs> This jar, fuck this jar. But wait, Cor, you only need to break those jars. Fuck your shoes. The temple's been invaded. So yeah, apparently, uh, apparently, uh, sweet hat guy is the the dandy man of uh, <laughs> of the triad. Dandy man. The dandy man. <laughs> oh god, that shit. <laughs> you activated my trap card, oh dear. You activated my allo card. <laughs> you activated my, my card of kicking your butt. Oh, the earthbenders in particular are a pain in my buttocks. I would say a pain in your feet, considering where the attacks are coming from. Uh, I never tell you the items again. The rocky situation. Basically. <laughs> Spud is going to ignore your pun. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to acknowledge it, but ignore it. Give it the barest hint of acknowledgement. That way he doesn't have to think about it. Alright, target the earthbender first is my new plan. What? Nah. Tug it, hat guy. Hat guy. Yeah. If I were you, I'd kill hat guy. Hat guy's the worst. He doesn't have a name anymore. He's now dubbed hat guy. No, he's dandy no, guy. We should, we should fight the ridiculously tall man first, because he's ridiculously tall. Yeah, he, he is he is very tall. It is true. He's what is this height bender. difference between us? Bam! Don't you want to fight the North Bender? <laughs> Firebender. No, it, it, it's, the other it's, al it's, it's always a firebender that's causing problems, isn't it? And then the fire action attack. Hey, that's. <sighs> Benderous? I mean, is there work for that? <laughs> Thank you, Spud. Well, for that I mean, if, if the Fire Nation is a nation, I mean, we could assume they're a nationality and. Could be considered racist? Why do, fire be why do firebenders keep killing parents? 
because it's the only thing I've really heard about Korra in regards to what is what are the nation things now. Because essentially, fire and it's just that nation. apparently a lot of characters have this past that Firebender killed their parents. Because, because Firebenders, the, Firebenders because of like the war. Firebenders have horrible PR basically. Yeah. Also, they're like just attempting. Maybe to Firebenders should throws. stop killing people's parents. <laughs> you know, you think that. But when you're fueling your powers with the souls of dead parents, you, you kind of <laughs> got to keep fueling your powers with the souls of dead parents. <laughs> it, it, Batman's parents were killed it, by firebenders. Well, it, it's, it's a narcotic <laughs> effect is the problem. You know, you got to kill more parents every you time. Kill, you kill one parent, it gets really addictive. Uh, specifically I mean, when you were... No, I mean, just think Trump about it. You get your powers from the souls of dead parents. Ba All I can ba think basically, someone went to, you know, said to themselves, what? wait, I could just make orphans? All I think of now is is the this is the post on Tumblr that is a picture of Lust being killed by Roe Mustang, and the caption is "I found the firebender who killed Asami's mom." <laughs> <laughs> okay. I approve. Okay, I I don't like Brotherhood, but that particular scene is just it's molten awesome. Just wow. That's great. Oh, I like Brotherhood. Oh boy, what's time? It's should I skedaddle? Maybe. Maybe I should skedaddle. I have to actually wake up at like 8 o'clock, so... Okay. <laughs> that, that could be bad. Maybe. Maybe. I'll stay awake the entire night and everything will be good. I will just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, no Nothing won't. bad can come of this at all. No, it'll be fine. Just You'll me. only it'll pass be fine. out several times during the day. Become fully nocturnal. I should. We <laughs> have enough nocturnal Brits in here. I should check my new move. Hmm. What's a where to Is Smarty still in here? I'm still here. Yep, yep there's Smarty. See? <laughs> that would be mad at me if we I have We have one. That completely proves the point. <laughs> then again, Smarty's not... Nocturnal. Smarty just doesn't sleep. <laughs> this is yeah. true. 